Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another makeup declutter. So I know I've uploaded a couple pretty small declutters over the past few months, but lately I've gotten really back into project panning, my no buy, all of those kinds of things, and it's really made me take a good long look at my collection and start to kind of force myself to be more realistic when it comes to my makeup. So I kind of, over the course of the last few weeks, have just in increments when I had time, just started like going through, go looking at everything that I owned and deciding is it something that I love and wanted to keep? Is it something that I could, you know, suffer panning through or, you know, see myself panning? Or is it just something that I'm not getting proper use out of that can be passed on or thrown away in some cases? So yeah, on top of that, I've also been getting myself to wear lipstick again. I think because of the masks and my real comfort in nude lips that has developed over the past few years, I was not using a huge portion of my lipstick collection. So I've actually started to force myself to move out of my comfort zone and wear the colors that had just been sitting not being used. And it's also forced me to realize, wow, your preferences have changed a lot and you should probably get rid of a lot of these things. So let's just jump in to this bag of makeup that I have. Let's do palettes because they're taking up the most space. First up we have the BH Cosmetics Zodiac love science palette i have the original of this palette and i really really like it i actually opened both of them up and i'm just so much more drawn to the original zodiac palette than i am this one i am not sure i ever used this this isn't something that i really knew about this was this was an impulse purchase i was at ulta and i just came across it and was like oh my god i loved the original let me grab this one i love astrology i love stuff like this but i just don't use it i've also started to realize that while i had a summer that i was really into colored eyeshadow it's just not a thing. I like my neutrals. Um, so this was just the one that I was like, I am just not going to get use out of. And I've never used it, I don't think. So it will be passed on to a new and better home. Next up, we have some palettes that I just never thought I'd get rid of. Um, I really started off my makeup collection loving this line of eyeshadow palettes because it was like one of the only ones that people talked about. I still have my original. I will always have my original. I even have the reloaded edition of the original, but I am going to get rid of three of my naked palettes. I I do love the naked line. I have, uh, I, they're just nostalgic for me. Every time a new one comes out, I'm just like, ooh, what's this one? I really do love the Urban Decay formula still to this day, but these are ones that just never really got good use out of especially the naked three um this one is obviously we've all seen this the more pinky warm toned one and actually for the longest time i could not get this to look the best on me just because they matched my skin tone in a lot in a lot of ways and while sometimes i could make beautiful looks with this that just meshed really nicely most of the time I just didn't know what to do with this and just didn't like the way it looked on my eyes. If I went even a little bit too far, it looked kind of sick. So it's just not, just not one that I've reached for in a really long time. The one I think I've gotten the least use out of is my Naked Smoky. This is just one that I bought because it was a Naked palette and I was going to buy all of them. I don't, I'd never, I really never use this. I would use this like going out when I was in college, but even like the ones I can see use here and I can see the ones that never had use and it's just not, it's not my vibe. It's just never really been my vibe and I've held on to it forever so that I had all of my naked palettes and I do love the packaging on this one. I think it's beautiful, but it's time. It's time for it to go. Last up, this is probably the most surprising one because it is the one that I got a lot of use out of when I bought it, and that is my Naked 2. Even though I got a decent amount of use out of this when I bought this, 
I still, I was always gonna reach for my Naked One. I, my comfort was with that one. I preferred that one. I still prefer that one. And this one, I have memories around. I remember I was in Disney World when this got released and I went to the Orlando Sephora. They obviously didn't have it in store at that point. So I'd ordered online and I was so excited for it. And yeah, it's, it's pretty. I can't deny that it's pretty, but it's just not one that I reach for it all anymore. And it was just, it was time for it to go. The next one I'll talk about really quick is the Naked 2 Basics. This was in my pan and I realized I just don't get good use out of it anymore. Also, I have a hell of a time opening this when I have nails on, so yeah. You know what it looks like. Uh, next three, I'm actually really surprised that I've chosen to get rid of because I really liked these when I first got them. So this is the ColourPop all I see is magic palette. This was gifted to me by my best friend Sydney for Christmas when we were in college and I was in love with this palette once upon a time. I just thought it was gorgeous. I just don't reach for it anymore um, and I honestly think it was one of those palettes that I liked looking at more than I liked using. I just think it's such a pretty color story but it's just one that I don't reach for. So I'm gonna pass that on. Next up, this is the Mar palette from ColourPop. I got rid of the Soul palette in my last declutter. And this one was one that I was like, oh yeah, I won't get rid of that. That's gorgeous. And then I went through the rest of my collection and was like, girl, you don't reach for these shades and you have them in other palettes. So really pretty color story, I will say that. But it's just not one. I think I used this once or twice and never touched it again. So it can go. Last up, I can't believe I'm getting rid of this palette mostly because the only reason I was keeping it was because of the packaging. I bought it because of the packaging and I've kept it all of these years because of the packaging and that is the Cinderella Midnight Hour eyeshadow palette. This was from the Cinderella collection from Sephora. Just like look at that it's so pretty. I just I love Cinderella. It is she's my favorite princess I will say and it's a very uninspiring quad. Um I probably used it like twice. It's not good, it's not great quality. It's not a great fun color story. And I just decided it needed to go. Like I was keeping it just cause it was pretty. I, I can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. Okay, we'll keep in like the eye theme. These are some lashes and some lash glue. I believe I got these in an advent calendar, maybe? I don't know. They're from Velour. They're the mink lashes. I do not wear lashes ever. Uh, once upon a time, I would wear them to sorority formals. I don't go to those anymore. Um, the next time I'll probably wear lashes is maybe at my wedding. And I will probably buy lashes for that. So these can go to a home where they will be used because I just don't have time. I don't have time for liquid liner and I don't have time for lashes really trying to keep these in categories. So we have some eyeliners. This is the L'Oreal Still Kissing Me Eyeliner in True Teal. I kept this forever because I would sometimes reach for it, uh, but it is dried out and sunk into the tube. So yeah, that's got to go. Uh, this one dried out and is like falling out of the tube. This is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in All That Glitters. It's a nice gold color. Um, not a color I would ever reach for to put on as eyeliner. So there's that. And then this I definitely got in an advent calendar last year. And this is the Hot Mess Rockins Cosmetic Blue Glitter Gel Eye Pen. Maybe I got this in like a gift. I don't remember. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to use it. It's not open. I'm never going to reach for that. So I don't know why I kept it for this long, to be honest. Last up for eyes. This is the MAC Pigment in Platinum. I remember this. This is one of my first purchases from MAC. I think it was my sophomore year of high school that I got this for homecoming, I believe. Or maybe it was my junior year. I don't know. Or maybe it was like our winter formal. I don't I don't quite remember. I just remember I got it for a specific dance and I wore it a few times. I wore it on my senior year bid day and actually looked really, really cool, but I haven't used it since. So it can go. I actually have this on today and after using it for the second time and it the f okay, 
This is, let's back up. This is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. <laughs> I wore this a few days ago and I have to wear a mask all day at work and I was at lunch maybe and I pulled my mask down to eat and I looked at myself and was like, what the hell? Every, like just all, I barely had like any kind of face makeup on on top of this. I had like some like powder foundation, like a little bit and then just powder. And it just was settling into every single pore. It looked awful. It wasn't sitting on my skin. It was just settling into my pores. I hated it. Uh, and then I just figured that it was the mask and then I used it today and I did it again, like immediately. And I was like, huh, no, 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 we're not doing that. So I am getting rid of that. I was going to pan it and I was like, no, I can't, I can't handle this. Uh, next up for face stuff, this was also in my pan. This is the Becca Vanilla Quartz Highlighter. It's just nothing special. So I'm going to pass it on. Speaking of Becca, I remember this. This is the Becca Gradient Sunlit Bronzer in Sunrise Waves. Not sure I ever used it, but damn, it's so pretty. It is so pretty in that pan. Holy hell. It's a satiny, you can get it kind of metallic bronzer. And I went through this phase right after I graduated college where I was like, you need to be wearing bronzer. You're so pale, just like wear bronzer, find bronzer that looks good on you. And I bought this and a few other ones and I never touched to this. This actually came shattered, my first version of this and Ulta sent me another one because I was like, um, I bought this cause it was gorgeous. Why did you do this to me? I got rid of the repress version that I had and I have not touched this, so it can go. And another bronzer I bought during that is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This was just a cult favorite back in the day. I think I used this maybe twice. It smells like coconuts. Uh, I'm just, I don't reach for it. I really never ever reach for this, so it can go. We're gonna do some random stuff before we get into lips. Uh, this is the Beauty Blender like travel case that I got. It came in a beauty blender kit and I kept it and then every time I would travel I would never use it. So even though it's gross that I just throw my beauty blender in with my makeup brushes, I guess that's gross. Uh, I, I don't use this. It's also like really bulky for what it is and no. Really boring. This is a comb. This came in a drunk elephant set with all of their new like body and hair care stuff and at the time I was like, oh my god, you need a wide tooth comb. Oh my god, you need one. Brad Mondo says you need a wide tooth comb. I don't use this. Like ever. Ah! Uh, I just don't use this, ever. So, it's just taking up space. Next up, these are little doggy eye patches. You're supposed to put them in the freezer and then put them on your eyes to depuff. I have rollers and other things, little like court stuff that I would rather use and that work better. So passing these on. And last up, this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana body oil. This came in a little set that I bought with a full size of the perfume. It was my repurchase. This smells like nothing. Like I put it on and I was like, this doesn't smell like anything. I read reviews. Everybody was like, you can't smell this. I don't love body oil. So I'm just never gonna reach for this and it's taking up space. Already is officially time to talk about lip products. Please don't roll away. I have quite a few here because I got fed up with having over a hundred lipsticks where I was using a very small fraction. So let's do ColourPop first because I was originally going to try all of these out before I decided to declutter them. And then I realized how old these are and how quickly ColourPop goes bad. And I, I was like, you know what? The colors in there that I'm gonna love, I probably have dupes of that are better formulated and last a little longer and aren't as old. So I'm getting rid of what is left of my ColourPop collection. I used to have like 50 ColourPop lipsticks and I've really narrowed it down. Last time I decluttered, I just kept the satins and now these are going too. So I'll just go quickly through the colors. This is Panda. Calypso, which was hard because this is my cat's name. And I almost kept it just for the name. And then I was like, Elisa, that's stupid as hell. 
Barracuda. You're gonna see, it's just like nude after nude after nude. Freaking frack. Magic Wand. Ooh, a red. Prim. Echo Park. Mess Around. Brooklyn. Hutch. Alyssa, which was one of my favorites. And the fun one that I don't think I ever used, so wavy. It's kind of nice just because it was really easy just to go in and make a ton of space in my lipstick drawer just getting rid of those so that was that was a fun that was a fun moment for me um then we have three ones i never used um i think my cousin gave me this this is the nyx glitter goals lipstick in crystal crush not into glitter in my lip product so it's gonna go this i think my aunt gave me for like easter this is the gold coast spa Lips, lip gloss I don't like lip gloss in no idea doesn't have a color cool and then this I believe came in that advent calendar I keep referencing and this is the kisser fixer kisser fixer lasting liquid lipstick by Belle Beauty in mauve all right, let's do some lip liners, shall we? So this is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Liner in Dominatrix. I remember I had decided I wanted to increase my lip liner collection and I had like a Kohl's gift card or something. So I just went to Kohl's and bought lip liners that they had there and then really never used them. So there's that. And the other one from that shopping trip is the Balm Pickup Liners in Boyfriend Material. So it's a red one. I have other red liners that I will reach for before I reach for this one. And then we have the Bite Lip Pencil in 050. This I tried to pan at the beginning of the year. It is so damn gray. It is so gray. And no, no, I would put this on and I'm like, why do I look awful? So this can go. Speaking of Bite Lip Products, this is the Bite Matte Lip Crayon in Coolie. I'm not sure I ever used it, to be honest. Might have maybe once. And I'm not going to. I don't love the formula on these lip pencils, so it doesn't make sense for me to keep it. And then this is the Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Kimchi. It's just a very, very hot pink. I'm not going to reach for that. I've never touched it, you can tell. So that can go. This is the mini of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have a full size of this and that's going to take me forever to get through. And by that point, I'm probably going to be sick of it. So this can go. This <laughs> is the Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar Lip Gloss. Oh my god, people love this and I don't know why. I hate this. There's like glitter in this. No, 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 no. I hate the way this looks on my lips. I don't love lip gloss all that much, but I really don't like shimmery lip gloss. This was not meant for me. Last up, we have six MAC lipsticks. This is a big moment for me, y'all, because I have hoarded MAC lipsticks since I started buying them. I would buy them in giant sets. I would be like, oh yeah, I need six of them of the fall collection. Like, no, you didn't. Uh, and a lot of them would just sit. Some of them I've gotten my use out of, and some of them I just really haven't, and they no longer fit in the way I do my makeup. When I started using like forcing myself to use all of my lip products. The first ones I used were my nude Max, and I'm keeping all of those because I like them. Uh, but when I got into color, I was like, girl, why are you on these? So first up we have Flamingo. This is a luster. I hate the luster formula. I put this on and immediately it was, no. This clings to like every dry patch on your lips. It's not a cute color, I'm done. I have discovered some colors that I really like for my collection and that this has helped me do that um this is the viva glam nikki super bright like corally pink kind of color i just i don't love the way it looks oh my god this is saint germain this is so pale pink like it's scary and so intensely pigmented and the fact that i used to wear this 
out. Like you can tell I've used this lip lipstick and I have pictures of me and my best friend in frat parties wearing this lipstick. Did it look good? No. I mean the one time we were bunnies and that it looked good for that but uh, mm, mind blown. Then we have Silly which is a matte. This was just very pink like very pink. I wore it and I was kind of like I ah, don't love it. And then Candy Yum Yum. I don't think I ended up wearing this one because it's so neon and I have a couple other ones that are kind of this shade of pink but not so neon and I just prefer them. This is just not my vibe anymore. And then this one is Hang Up. This is a cream sheen. I did actually wear this one out but it has dried up. I put it on and it was like eh, eh, eh. Uh, it was very hard. Uh, I did get it out and I did wear it. I did not reapply. I just immediately put it in the declutter drawer. It's just, it's just not, it's not it. So those are all the things I've decluttered. I almost said used up. Definitely not. Uh, over the past, honestly, like two weeks, I've just been really cracking down and looking at my makeup collection and everything that I own. And I'm feeling really good about it. I'm really excited because in the new year, I think I'm going to start taking inspiration from like Kat and Haley and starting to like use all of my products and see what I like, what I don't like. Like that Becca primer has sat in my collection forever and I used it and was like, this is shit. So I would like to do that with all of my primers, all of my foundations, uh, my lipsticks, continue that, highlighters, blush, all of that and see really what I like and what I don't because there's really no point in keeping stuff if I don't like it or if I don't know if I like it or if I'm just keeping it because it's pretty. But yeah, that's everything. I am feeling very inspired to declutter. I have a declutter video. I did a challenge where I tried to declutter 500 items and I just never edited it, unfortunately. I did this so long ago, like beginning of the year. And I think I might post that soon and then actually start another one because I just keep finding shit that I don't want anymore and I would just like to get rid of it. So thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.